So welcome to my kitchen. This is Cooking Today. Hi, welcome to Cooking Today. I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm making probably one of my personal favorite soups. I love soup. I've told y'all. I just can't wait for it to get chilly and cold and I love it when the Oh, I love it when we have fall back and it gets dark early and you can like light candles and start eating soup and put on your pajamas at like 5.30. Don't you love that? Love that. This soup is homemade, hearty chicken and dumplings. I mean, applause. If we had an applause meter like at the Razorback game, I think that the crowd would go wild right there. Don't you think? Chicken and dumplings. You absolutely cannot get more old school than chicken and dumplings. They are divine. And when you've had a good bowl of chicken and dumplings, you remember where it was. It kind of like changes the timeline of your life. Don't you think maybe if you get a really, really good bowl of chicken and dumplings, you're about to have another good bowl. You're going to make these at home. Your family's going to rave. You're going to serve it to your people. Invite some company over to watch a ball game or a holiday movie. Oh, will you please make these and watch a holiday movie? Nothing would make my heart happier than knowing that y'all made chicken and dumplings and watched a holiday movie. I would love that. Anyway, I know what some of you are thinking right this minute. My granny never put onions and carrots and celery in hers. Well, she may not have, but we still love her. These are good. They're the vegetables add this little bit of sweetness. They add some color. These carrots add this like good earthiness and it's healthy. I mean, it's a good little bite to get carrots in your chicken and dumplings. I did not always put carrots in my chicken and dumplings, but my husband loves carrots. He always says, I mean, y'all for 22 years, if he gets a carrot and a piece of soup, like a piece of carrot, in soup, he'll say, I sure love the carrots. I'm like, I know, that's why I put them in there. He loves them. So I put carrots and celery and a little bit of onion in my chicken and dumplings. So the celery, we love this little bit of celery in here. And I'm just going to go right down the center, and give it a little, you know, kind of split a stalk. And ultimately, what we want here is about a cup of onions, about a cup of chopped carrots, and about a cup of chopped celery. Now, if you were a schooled, educated cook, you'd call this a mirepoix. It's like the holy trinity of soup and flavor bases of the world. We actually talked about that on my Instagram. If y'all aren't following me on Instagram, you should really hop over there because we have fun and we visit and we talk about food and family and all that kind of stuff and I read all the comments and we visit back and forth and it's it's a really good time over there. We did have a little visit about mirepoix and that's what this is. So about a cup of each. We do have already three, probably three um, chicken breasts or so. I'm trying to remember probably about three cup, three chicken breasts which makes about four cups shredded okay and I have that waiting in the wings when you make your chicken you need to shred it while it's hot because if you don't shred it while it's hot it's not gonna get that good kind of stringy pull apart don't cube chicken and put it in your chicken and dumplings you want it to be like tiny little yummy strings instead of big huge chunks where it kind of just infiltrates the whole soup at every single bite so we have a good shred on our chicken, about four cups, okay? We have our mirepoix here that we're gonna put in my Dutch oven. Now this makes a lot, y'all. Makes a lot. Feeds probably six to eight cups. And that's kind of hard to say because people go back for seconds and you know, all that. So you need a pretty good sized pot. I make mine in my five and a half quart Dutch oven and it really should be something really nice and heavy with a lid. Um, if you've got one. I'm going to drop in a little bit of butter. Super soft. We're going to drop in a little bit of butter. 
in the bottom of my pot. And we're gonna give these veggies a good little saute. Get them nice and tender, delicious. I think if you've never put this in your chicken and dumplings before, I might change your mind. It's that good. So we're just gonna put them all in at the same time. Whoop, I'm gonna try not to make a mess. I should have had my food scoop. There we go. Get them in the pot. And then I'm just gonna kinda keep my ears to them and give them a stir. So here's our chicken. Right here, I have the four cups. I also have two 32 ounce cartons of store-bought chicken stock. I also have homemade chicken stock in my freezer, but for today I thought I would just go ahead and show y'all how to use the quicker version since I have shown you before how to make homemade chicken stock. You need to go back and check on that, learn how to do it and use it in this. It'd be really, really good. Okay, I'm starting to hear a little sizzle. We've got our chicken. We're gonna throw in our stock in a minute. When we come back, we're gonna keep rolling on these homemade chicken and dumplings. This is Cooking Today. Cooking Today, sponsored by West Rock Coffee Company. Welcome back to Cooking Today. We're making beautiful, loaded, hearty, homemade chicken and dumplings today. Doesn't that sound good? So we've got a great little veggie flavor base going. I know veggies. Most of the time we're talking about chicken stock and chicken and some flour. And that's a pretty old fashioned way to do it, but these are really, really good. And I think you should really try them. It's a great way to sneak carrots into your kids diet because they're going to love this soup so much they're going to get a little carrot while they're at it and they're not even going to know it's beautiful so what we've got was about a cup of onions a cup of celery a cup of carrots that we chopped down pretty small and i've just sauteed them in a little bit of butter in my big dutch oven they are starting to get tender you know the carrots take a little longer to cook but we're gonna boil them for a little while and so they don't have to be cooked completely through right now. They're gonna continue to get a little bit more tender as we go. So they should be pretty good. To get your good, that good kind of thick gravy-like consistency in your chicken and dumplings so that they're not watery. Nobody likes watery chicken and dumplings. That's not chicken and dumplings at all. We're gonna put flour on our vegetables and let it cook for just a minute. I've got about a quarter of a cup or several heaping tablespoons, kind of whatever you want to do. But we need to get the flour in here and on top of our veg and we're going to just give it a good little stir around and it thickens and it grabs up any of the extra liquid and good butter that was on the bottom of the pan. We're going to let that stir around for just a minute. Let that kind of cook out, that floury taste. Now we have our chicken stock. Like I said, this is the super easy way to do it with store-bought chicken stock. I prefer stock over broth. It's generally a little bit richer in flavor. So I buy store-bought chicken stock. You can absolutely make your own. I love to make my own. I have shown you how to make your own chicken stock. If you can use it that way, you know, use your homemade. It almost puts these, it's almost too much. It's just so good that it's just almost too much to handle. You ever feel like that sometimes about food? I do. Anyway, so we're going to pour in now that we've let our flour cook down a little bit on our vegetables. I just have two of these 32 ounce cartons of chicken stock. And I'm going to pour in. And that flour that's on those vegetables and this heat and this chicken stock are going to kind of do a little magical experiment like science where it kind of thickens and it makes this good gravy and sauce. We're going to add a little bit more flour in in a minute when we make our dumplings, but this will really get us going. Okay. So there are two cartons of chicken stock. Now, I'm gonna give this a good little spin here. Loosen all that up on the bottom. And then I'm gonna turn this up 
because I want it to get to a boil. We want this to start to boil because we're going to make our dumplings and drop them down inside that boiling stock and that's where the magic happens. So, we're going to keep our ears on that and check it, but as we go, we're going to make our dumplings. This is so easy. It's kind of like somewhere between, you know, we've made a pie crust here and we made biscuits. So some of the same things apply. We have cold milk and cold Crisco. I have two cups of flour. I put in my bowl here. Okay. Two cups of flour. Then I have two teaspoons of baking powder, not soda, okay? Baking powder. One. Two, and you know that little bit of baking powder in there is kind of what makes them puff up and get doughy when we drop them in. Don't you love them? Don't you love them? Okay, and then I've got teaspoon of salt that's going in and I'm going to take my spurtle here and give that just a little spin of the dry ingredients. Now here's where we're going to get messy. Make my way here. We are going to make a little well, pour in our milk. Okay. And then we're going to give this a little toss. And then we're going to drop in our Crisco and we're about to make our mess. So come back. When you come back, we're going to get going on our dumplings. This is Cooking Today. Ice Tea, sponsored by Lipton. Hi, welcome back to Cooking Today. We're making dumplings for our chicken and dumplings. So what we've got, when we left, we have two cups of flour, a little bit of salt, and baking powder and milk and you just put your milk in real quick and you don't completely stir it all around because you want to take your Crisco, I've got about a third a cup, and I want to kind of cover it in flour. I actually put the whole clob in there and then roll it around and then I start to take my fingers and tear it with my fingers just kind of all incorporated. I'm going to move this up. Well, I'm about to make a mess. I don't know why I'm worried. And then I'm going to go ahead and just take my fingers and start to just kind of tear it apart into little globs. And I'm grabbing the flour and the milk and all the mixture and pulling off little hunks at a time. Do you see how that works? And then I kind of put them down in the flour and rub them off my fingers. We're just kind of separating. Okay? Pinching off little bits. And it's going to make a really craggy mixture. It's not going to be smooth and pretty. It's going to be really craggy and that's okay because it is going to taste so good. And your fingers are going to get yuck and that's just fine too. So I'm taking it, I'm almost finished breaking it into little bits. See? And then I'm getting my fingers in there and just kind of turning all those bits over and making sure they're kind of covered in flour if that makes sense at all. Kind of get my fingers in there and now I'm kind of kneading it from the bottom, pulling that flour from the bottom and that milk up to the top, okay? It's a pretty dry mixture and that's okay. That's okay, that's okay. Okay, I've kind of kneaded it and made sure that the Crisco is nice and separated in there. Now, you're, you might panic at this point. You know, we've, we've always said that there's a little bit of like a crisis of belief when you are making um, pie crust or biscuits or something and you're going to think, oh, something's terribly wrong. Watch how bad this looks when I turn this out. You're going to be just fine. I'm going to get that off my hand so I can handle my bowl. It is slick. We're going to flour our counter off real quick. Okay. And I do quite a bit of flour. Some people say light coating. I would rather have more 
than not enough because I don't want it to stick, especially on TV. Wouldn't that be awful? Okay, so here's my craggy looking dumpling dough, okay? So what I'm gonna do is kind of pour it all out together. Remember, we looked, it looked like this when we made our pie crust a little bit. It's kind of in a pile, not a ball. But I am gonna take my hands and form it into a ball. Now, I'm not intentionally pulling all the flour into it because that will almost make them too dry. This is really mostly just for your counter, but don't pull the, all that extra flour on the counter into your dough here, okay? And I'm pulling together what can pull together. Some of these extra bits, I'm just gonna kinda scoot them to the side. I don't need to work too, too hard to get them in because what came together naturally came together naturally. Does that make sense? Don't force it, it's just dumplings, okay? Now, this is where I said it's gonna be craggly and you may think you've done something wrong. I'm gonna take a little bit of flour just right here off the counter and go right over my rolling pin and then roll these out. It's gonna come apart and that's okay because you know what, it doesn't matter, it's just a, it's a dumpling. We're just gonna make enough squares in this to get it to drop into our stock that's boiling or hoping, I hope it's boiling anyway. And so it doesn't matter. Like see how this is coming apart? If this were a pie crust at this point, you might be concerned, <laughs> but it's just dumplings. So it doesn't matter. So here we go. I'm gonna make them about, I don't know, a quarter inch thick or so. See, look how messy that is. Completely different looking than when we made our pie crust. Cause you know, our pie crust ultimately looks kind of pretty, didn't it? Okay. So, our messy looking dough are not even a real circle or even, you know, any kind of real shape. And what I'm gonna take is my pizza cutter. You can use a knife, you can use a dough cutter. I'm, I'm careful about using a knife because I don't wanna cut my counter. And I feel like this just kind of easily rolls right along without kind of putting too much pressure. There is no rhyme or reason here, ready? I'm gonna make about an inch, I guess, lines. One direction, and I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna go the other way, and I'm just gonna make them like little squares. If you wanted to do longer strips than you could, we've put baking powder in here, let's not forget, so they're gonna get pretty poofy, okay? All we're gonna do, this is so easy, our stock is boiling with our vegetables in it, so it's nice and hot. I'm gonna take my food scoop. I'm gonna scoop up every bit of these dumplings and all of the flour on the counter and drop it in my stock and stir them in and let them cook for about 10 minutes. Isn't that so easy? So I'm gonna do that. Look how easy this is, it's kind of fun. I'm gonna scoop these in there, put them in my stock. When we come back, we're gonna have dumplings boiled up. This is cooking today. Rice, sponsored by Mars. Welcome back to Cooking Today. We are wrapping up the most beautiful bowl of homemade chicken and dumplings. So let me tell you what we've got. We have our dumplings that we made right before the break. I scooped every single bit of it up and put flour and all, all that stuff that you saw into my boiling broth, covered it and let it go for about 10 or 12 minutes or so. And now I've just uncovered it. I'm putting in my four cups of chicken, a pad of butter, and some seriously good pinches of salt and pepper. And I'm gonna stir that for just a minute. And ultimately, ultimately, it would be the best at this point for you to just let that simmer for like another 10 or 12 minutes because that hot stock gets in there and it just starts to heat that chicken and it just shreds into the best bites ever. 
you want to be sure to taste your stock because, you know, taste the liquid in there for salt and pepper for sure. So that is how we're going to wrap those up. Now, we have this gorgeous pot ultimately that we would have let cook just a little bit longer. And then just to kind of top it off, I just run my finger down a little bit of these fresh thyme leaves and drop them in, ladle them into beautiful bowls, top them with another little bit of fresh thyme. Y'all, it is a bowl of the best stuff ever, homemade chicken and dumplings. Hope you'll try it at home. Love every bite. This is cooking today. Cooking Today, sponsored by West Rock Coffee Company. Kitchenware is provided by Una Mays. Iced tea, sponsored by Lipton. Rice, sponsored by Mars. <laughs>